Hello, I welcome to UPSC prelim Chaturya series of Shantalakshmi IAS Academy, where we will discuss the daily prelims MCQs from the Hindu, Indian Express and PIB. Let's get started. The first question. With reference to the MP Lots eSakshi mobile application, consider the following statements. It was launched by the Ministry of Telecommunications. The mobile app would, would offer a convenience and accessibility, allowing MPs to propose, track and oversee the project at their fingertips. This real-time access enhances decision-making process, enabling swift responses to emerging needs or issues. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two, all three, none of the above. Recently, the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation launched the MPLAD eSakshi mobile application. About eSakshi application, it was launched for revised fund flow procedure under the MPLAD scheme. It will bring forth a myriad of benefits, revolutionizing the way members of parliament engage with and manage development projects in their constituencies. It would offer convenience and accessibility, allowing MPs to propose, track and oversee the project at their fingertips. And the, this real-time access enhances decision-making process, enabling swift, swift responses to emerging needs or issues. The application will streamline the communication between MPs and the relevant authorities, facilitating a more efficient exchange of information. It will, it, it will also promote transparency by providing MPs with instant updates on the status and progress of their proposed projects. It has the futures for budget management, ensuring MPs can monitor expenditures. About MP LAD scheme, the MP LADs is a planned scheme fully funded by the Government of India. The annual MP LADs fund Entitlement for MP constituency is rupees 5 crores. And MPs are to recommend every year work costing at least 15% of MP lots entitlement for the year for areas inhabited by scheduled caste population and 7.5% of areas inhabited by the scheduled tribes population. Lok Sabha members can recommend works within the Constituencies and elected members of Rajya Sabha can recommend work within the state of election. Nominated members of the both the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha can recommend works anywhere in the country. And all works to meet locally felt infrastructure and developmental needs with an emphasis on creation of durable assets in the constituency are permissible under the MP Lots as prescribed in the scheme guidelines. So the answer is only two because it was launched by the Ministry of Statistics and, and Program Implementation. Moving to the next question. Consider the following statement with respect to diodes. It is an electro electronic component whose primary purpose is to allow current to flow in any direction. LEDs, light emitting diodes, can produce all three primary colors such as red, green and blue. LED bulbs are highly durable and resist to shocks, vibrations and temperature fluctuations. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two. All three, none of the above. Light emitting diodes succeeded in incandescent bulbs and fluorescent lamps of previous centuries as the world's light source of choices. About LEDs, a diode is an electronic component which has two point of contacts or terminals called is an anode and cathode. A diode is diode is the, the main the main purpose of the diode is to allow current to flow in only one direction. An LED is a semiconductor device which emits light when electric current flow through it. It can produce all three primary colors, 
red, green and blue, different LEDs can be combined on display board to produce a large variety of colors. The main advantages of LED, energy efficiency. It requires far less electricity to produce the same light as incandescent bulbs. LEDs use approximately 75 to 85 percent less energy than tra traditional incandescent bulbs. Durability. LED bulbs are highly durable and resistant to shocks and vibrations and temperature fluctuations. Instant illuminations. It provides an instant illumination without the warm up period required by the incandescent bulbs. Heat generation. LED bulbs generate very little heat, making them safer to handle and more efficient too in terms of energy utilization. Environmental impact. LEDs have a significant lower environmental impact compared to incandescent bulbs. The energy efficiency and longer lifespan results in reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and less waste. LEDs are several applications in applications of industry, consumer electronics, household appliance, from smartphones to TV screens, from signboards to feeding plants, light in greenhouses, from barcode scanners to monitoring air quality. So the answer is only two because it is allowed to current to flow in only one direction. Moving to the next question. Regarding the African dream herb, consider the following statements. It grows in only tropical lowlands. Its dark brown and spherical speed is used to play Hambi Kepatu game in Manipur. Which of the statements given above is are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. A dying traditional game given a fresh lease of life at ongoing Karbi Youth Festival in central Assam, Karbi Anlong district has fueled a drive for conserving a creeper known as African Dream Heart. About African Dream Heart, a perennial climbing vine that is used by African traditional healers to induce vivid dreams that enables them to communicate efficiently with their ancestors. The common names of the the common names for this gain to see being African dream herb snuff box. The distribution and the habitat of the African dream herb was it is indigenous to the Africa, Asia, Australia, and Madagascar. It grows in the tropical lowlands along the coastal line and river banks in woodland, thicker, thickest and riverine rainforest. The main uses of this. The, a paste made from the leaves and bark and root is used to clean wounds, treat burns and heal jaundice in children. Tea made from the whole plant is used to improve the blood circulation to the brain and heal the after effect of soap and heal the after effects of stroke. The bark is used to treat diarrhea and parasitic infections. This creeper yields a dark brown and spherical speed seed, almost the size of human patella of kneecap, used to play Hambi Kepatu associated with the virgin of the Karbik community. So the answer is neither one nor two. Because it is grown, it is grown in tropical, uh, tropical lowlands along with coastlines and river banks and woodlands. And it, it it the spherical seed used to play Hambi Tambu game in the Assam, not the Manipur. Moving to the next question. Recently, Paramyrothosium indicum was seen in use. It, it is a species of which one of the following? Option A, bacteria. Option B, butterfly. Option C, fungus. Option D, snake. Scientists recently discovered a new species of fungus in Kerala named Paramyrothesium indicum. About this, it is a new species of phytopathogenic fungus. The phytopathogens are the parasites surviving on plant host. Most Paramyrothesium are 
phytopathogens. They are responsible for serious plant diseases which might negatively affect crop productivity. The, the paramyrothosium leaf spots are a type of fungal disease that can affect the variety of plants. Some species of paramyrothosium para, para produce secondary metabol metabolites with the bioherbicidal potentials and therefore may find applications in controlling weeds. So the answer is C, fungus. Move into the next question. With reference to the Panama Canal, consider the following statements. The canal lies in Colombia. It connects the Atlantic Ocean with the Pacific Ocean. Which of the statements given above is are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. The scientists recent, recently stumbled upon the lost, a lost forest in the Panama Canal dating back around 22 million years. About Panama Canal, it is, a, it is an artificial waterway that connects Atlantic Ocean with the Pacific Ocean. The canal connects across the isthmus of Panama and is a conduit for the maritime trade and the canal lies in the Central America. It was cut through one of the narrowest saddles of the Isthmus that joins the North and South America. It is one of the two most strategic artificial waterways in the world and other being the Suez Canal. You can find out the location of the Panama Canal here. And it is approximately 80 kilometers long. It consists of series of locks that raise and lower the water level to facilitate the passage of ships through the continental divide. So the answer is two only because it, the canal lies in the Central America, not the Columbia. Moving to the next question. Consider the following statements with respect to the Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. It is the government organization under the Ministry of Defense. It is the nodal agency to deal with the cyber security threats like hacking and phishing. It was established under the Information Technology Act 2000. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two, all three, none of the above. Recently, CERT takes over 11 months to plug vulnerabilities exposing personal data. The CERT is the National Nodal Agency set under the Section 70B of the Information Technology Act 2000 to respond to computer security incidents as when they occur. It operates under auspices of the Department of Electronics and IT and Ministry of Communication and IT. The CERT creates awareness and security issues through dissemination of information on its website and operate 24 by 7 instant response help desk. It also provides instant prevention and response services as well as security quality management services. CRT perform the following functions to the cyber security, collection, analysis, and dissemination of information on the cyber incident, forecast, and alerts of cyber security incident, emergency measures for handling the cyber security incidents, Coordination of the cyber incidents, response activities, issue guidelines, advisories, vulnerability notes, white papers relating to information security, practices, procedures, prevention, response, and reporting of cyber incidents, and such other function relating to cyber security may be prescribed. So the answer is only two, because it was under the Department of Electronics and IT. and IT and the Department of and the Ministry of Communication and IT, not the Ministry of Defense. Moving to the next question. Recently in use, Annual Status of Education Report is published by Option A, Niti Ayo, Option B, UNEP, Option C, Ministry of Education, Option D, Pradam. According to the ASCR 2023, nearly 43% of children in the 14 to 18 age group cannot read the sentences in English. 
while among their rural counterparts 25 percent struggled to read the class 2 level text in their respective regional language about the report ACR's report was released by the NGO Pradam, have been surviving children aged 6 to 14 since 2005 to track tens in school enrollment, attendance and reading and arithmetic abilities. ASR reports are usually referred to by the government while formulating the policies. The ASR, the, the ASER 2023 is based on survey conducted in 28 districts across the 26 states reaching out of 34,745 youths in the age group of 14 to 18. One, one rural district was survived in each major state with the exception of the Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh, where two such districts were survived. Surveyed. The youth were surveyed on four points. Basic reading, math, English abilities, Application of basic skills to everybody calculations, everyday calculations. Application of basic basic skills to everyday calculation, reading and understanding written instructions, financial calculation that need to be done in real life. Basic mathematics remains the big challenge. More than half of the surveyed students could not solve the simple three digits by one digit division problem. The ability to do division is seen in the proxy for ability to do, to do may basic arithmetic operations. So the answer is D. Pradam. Moving to the next question. Consider the following statements about Olam tribes. They are listed as a particularly vulnerable tribal group in the state of Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. Their society is matrilineal that the line of descent, descent is traced through the females. Which of the statements given above is are not correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. The central government will extend the basic facility to the endangered column tribe under the Janjati Adivasi Nyay Mahabhyan with a focus on health and education about the column tribes also known as Kolamboli, Kulum and Kolmi, occupy a major portion of Madhya Pradesh. The main concentration of these tribes is on the plains and the mountainous region. These tribes, gro tribal groups are reckoned as a scheduled tribes and a part of Madhya Pradesh. They reside in some parts of Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. They are listed as a particularly vulnerable tribal group in the state of Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. History of this tribal group was around 20th, 25th century, the Kolam served as a priest for the Gond, representing of some of their important gods. Since they now lie near the Gond, they have adopted much of the Gond style lifestyle. The Kolam people are divided into different clans, Chaldehi, Pachdeva, Saha Devi and Sate Devi. Marriages between the same clans are not permissible. The columns use the name of their clans as their surnames. Their society is a patrimonial, meaning that the line of descent is traced to the males. The columns are mainly farmers and forest workers. It in times past they used shifting cultivation on the hill slopes. Today they primarily live as settled farmers and use the flow cultivation so the answer is so the answer is only to two only because their society is a patrilineal patrilineal and traced through the males not the females moving to the next question regarding the national center for disease control consider the following statement it functions as the nodal agency in the country for disease surveillance, facilitating prevention and control of communicable disease. The institute is under the administrative control of the Director General of Health Services, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The institute has its headquarters in Delhi. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two, all three, none of the above. Recently, Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare presided over the 
वनवल आनुआल डे सेलेब्रेशन अफ नाशनल से फर् डिस्ज कंट्रोल अबउट द एनसीडी फार्मी नाशनल इंस्टिट्यूट आफ कम्युनिकेबल डिस हाड इट्स वर्जिन द सेंट्रल मलेरिया ब्यूरो एस्टाब्लीस्ड कसोली इन नई नाट नईन एन ईसी वाज ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू द एनसीडीसी वित् ए लारजर मैंडेट ऑफ द कंट्रोलिंग एमर्जिंग एंड री एमर्जिंग डिस्ज इन टू तौज नईन इट फंक्शन एज द नोडल एजेंसी इन द कंट्री फॉर डिज सर्वेलें फेसिलिटेटिंग प्रिवेंशन एंड कंट्रोल आफ कम्युनिकेबल डिजेस एंड इट इज आलो ए नाशनल लेवल इंस्टिट्यूट फॉर ट्रेनिंग स्पेशलैज मैन पवर फॉर पब्लिक हेल्थ लेबरेटरी सैनसेस एंड एंटमोलाजिकल सर्विसे एंड इज इनवाल इन वेरिय अप्लेड रिसर्च आक्टिविटी द इंस्टिट्यूट इज अंडर द अडमिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल आफ द डैरेक्टर जनरल आफ हेल्थ सर्विसे एंड मिनिस्ट्री आफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेर the headquarter was in the delhi so the answer is all three moving to the next question defense technology council was in news recently is is a recommendation of which of the following committee option a reeki committee option b tk vishwanathan committee option c vijay raghavan committee option d b neeraj prabhakaran committee According to the according to an, an expert committee, a top body, the Defence Technology Council should determine the country's defence technology roadmap and decide on the major project and their execution. The nine-member expert committee is headed by the former principal scientific adviser Professor K. Vijay Raghavan. The recommendation of the Vijay Raghavan committee at present DRDO remains engaged in all aspects from research to development to production. in its project the vijay raghavan committee has observed that drdo should focus on its original goal of research and development for defense it should refrain from involving itself in production productization production cycles and the product management tasks that are more suitable for the private sector and furthermore there are numerous technologies that drdo does not necessarily needed to get into for example why should trdo engage in drone development there is a necessity to identify the expertise within india and internationally for various technologies every defense solution to problem does not have to only come from drdo this is precisely where the committee believes the defense technology council would play a pivotal role in identifying the right to play play identifying the right place for specific defense technologies so the answer is c vijay raghavan committee thank you this is the today session